Hello and welcome to Creative You Podcast. It's a knitting and crocheting podcast and we talk about life and other things. But today is a wonderful treat because I have a trunk show from Knitting Fever. I got called by the FedEx guy today that I had a package and I couldn't imagine what it was because I knew I hadn't ordered anything. And I, I guess I thought they weren't going to honor the trunk show that I requested a few months ago. And I am so happy Knitting Fever did because we all need some uplifting moments. And wait till you see these beautiful, beautiful things. There's a yarn called Phoenix DK Prints comes in a, a little roll that doesn't look very big, but but there's over 200 yards, and it does this beautiful striping. So there's the decorative border, and this is called Pipsqueak Child Sweater. You can go to knittingfever.com and find these patterns, and I love this color anyway. I've also done shawls with this yarn. I did a crocheted shawl with this color called Road Trip Scarf. Okay, and it feels nice and it will get softer with um, wear. So the yarns that are being highlighted today are the Phoenix DK Prince, Ella Ray Cozy Soft and Chunky, and Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca. Here is another sweater from the Phoenix DK prints. There's the sleeves. Little, nice little Henley with the little rolled um, color. I love it. Pinks, purples, limes. Um, really, really cute. And now for one of my favorites, this is the Rosa Mund girls dress. Look at those cute little pockets. There's the bottom, little garter stitch bottom, nice little garter stitch edging. I think this is really cute. And you can see this color, bright pink, light pink, white, and tan. Love it. I love it. Can't you imagine a cute little girl you know in this dress? Mm. Cotton is often overlooked at a yarn shop. I'm not sure why. Look a little frazzled today. I've had my moments today, and of course we can't go get our hair cut. So, Ella Ray Cozy Soft Prints. Ella Ray is my best seller, Ella Ray Cozy Soft. This actually feels nice and kind of heavy and warm. I like the color. It's a little seed stitch color that folds down and then the seed stitch top and bottom. You know, it's a good thing to make sleeves extra long and then they can be folded up. You can get one to two extra years out of your uh, children's garment if you make the sleeves longer and make the body a little bit longer. There's a company, Woolen Garments, where the owner's son one time had a bad burn due to his polyester pajamas melting. And since then, he has committed to high quality uh, children's clothing. Here's the back. Isn't that just darling? Wait till you see what else. I was so excited when I opened this box. I've seen this sweater many times on the cover of the Cozy Soft book. A little turn down garter stitch color, ribbing at the top. It's your sleeves. I also like this, this uh, print. Now, I love the color pooling that occurred here. Color pooling is when colors and variegated yarn stack up and that made a beautiful design. There are ways that you can manipulate it to get the colors to stack up. What you don't want are big blobs of the same color. Um, you can avoid that by doing 
knitting from two different balls or from two different ends of the yarn, two rows of one and two rows of the other. But I think this, it's really neat what happened with the colors. Woo! So I am going to so hate sending these things back. If you're married with no children or planning children, start a hope chest. Start knitting or crocheting your things now. If you're a wannabe grandmother, hey, now is the time to knit or crochet those items. There's a pea coat um, collar, which is really clever. But look at this bottom. Isn't that darling? That goes the whole way around. Little flowers and on the sleeves. And look at that cute little pea coat edging on the cuff and the bottom of the garment. I have to say this is one of my favorite. Now, while their garments are not done in the round and, are, and aren't seamless, I still think it's, it's worth it. Um, there's controversy about that, to, to knit in the round or not to knit in the round. As far as color pooling, yes, there is some color pooling, but again, it's quite pretty. The purple is a much brighter purple than what is showing up on the camera. So this oh, doesn't have a name, but um, if you go on the Knitting Fever website, um, knittingfever.com and go to Ella Ray Cozy Solve, you will find these patterns. So, Cozy, oh, one more. And again, I have seen this sweet little pattern in the books too. A fold down ribbed collar. And look at those cute ruffles. Oh, can't you picture a little girl in this with tights on? This color, I think, might be Marigold Fields. Don't hold me to it, but wow. Isn't that adorable? My husband and I just saw this little video of a little toddler, maybe two, three, at a wedding, dancing to uh, Elvis Presley's Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. He knew all the lyrics. It had like 25 million views. It was so cute. I could just picture a little girl in that dancing. Now, cozy alpaca. What we've talked about so far is Ella Ray Cozy Soft, either DK Weight or Chunky. DK Weight Chunky. It is an acrylic wool blend, machine washable, 75% acrylic, 25% uh, washable wool in lots and lots of colors. Now we're going to do Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca. I had done a ripple baby blanket out of this that I showed not long ago and it's so soft and I told you I was just glorying and doing it. This is the worsted, probably Aran uh, weight and it is 70% acrylic. 30% alpaca, 178 yards, and yeah, an Aran weight, 11 to 14 stitches per four inches. This is the chunky, same composition. This yarn knits up so soft. It's, it's just a dream. So this is a, one of the cardigans they sent. If you can see the, the nice pattern bookended by cables. The sleeves are just plain. And then here's the front. Isn't that nice? And it's really soft. And that one is called... 
Oh, I'm sorry. This is Cozy Soft Chunky. This is called the Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R sweater. Oh, that feels nice. This is the Cozy Alpaca. And yeah, there is a difference in the feel. And I think Cozy uh, Soft has more of a sheen. Um, you can see the little fuzzy threads from the alpaca, but this is a dream. I don't know who wouldn't want to wrap themselves in this, either to just let it hang down you know when you do that with these rectangular it almost looks like a cardigan or a cape i just might have to make this this is gorgeous so here it is ah oh, the whole length of it the edging oh this is beautiful this is the Stella wrap. Oh, if you could feel this, you would want to reach through the camera and get it. Which I remember when one of my little grandchildren were small, we were watching a wonderful kids movie and he said, Grandma, can you put me in there? Now this is cozy, soft, chunky. I can feel the difference. And we saw that one. This is Cozy Alpaca, and again, this is just so soft. This would feel wonderful on. This is Georgia's sweater, and uh, I feel like I'm gonna shrink and wear this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, it feels great. And then I had requested some patterns from the um, Classic Superwash Wool Book. And that's the Ella Ray Classic Superwash Wool Worsted Weight. And I have two to show you. I feel like I've been speeding trying to get all of this done in 15 minutes and now I look and I have plenty of time. So this is a block design and it's a good size, a, a good crib size blanket. And I love the edging. Isn't that wonderful? And you learn that wool will really keep you warm. The synthetics, a little bit, but when you cozy up with wool, you are nice and warm. And that's what you want for your little one. And the reverse side of this doesn't look bad either. And this is in one of their books um, about super um, wash classic baby blankets. And then I think I'm getting down to the end here. I think so, let me just look, yes. And what I should have done is pulled my paper out from the beginning with my list of everything. And then this is the trellis stitch blanket in the same book with a crocheted border this is like a muted purple and like a forest green. And I am just thinking of all the different colors that you could do this in, or you could use this pattern to do hats, scarves. It is truly wonderful. Isn't that pretty? Ah, so, I'll just, as I'm putting them to the side, just go over them one more time. The garter stitch blanket, that is the inside. Oh, you know, every child needs a blanket to cozy up to. This incredible rectangular wrap called Stella. 
And again, you'll find all these patterns on knittingfever.com. Knitting Fever is now doing drop shipment. I am so excited about that. What that means is you can email me an order, one of this, two of this, three of this, one of this, and they will mail, they will charge me, I will charge you, they will charge me, but it will get mailed directly to you. I am so excited. So creative you yarns with an S at gmail.com. I'm Katherine Kirby. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. The beautiful cozy alpaca sweater called Georgia sweater. The Taylor sweater with the Ella Ray cozy self chunky or chunky yarn of your, um, you could, um, switch the cozy soft alpaca for the cozy soft chunky if you wanted to another cozy soft chunky sweater called taylor sweater ah oh, uh i'm a little slow in the uptake today folks this and this same sweater different colors there we go <laughs> I have a granddaughter who loves orange, always orange, orange everything. One year I was buying all the grandchildren backpacks for school to start. What do you want? Orange. Now that she's a teenager, this one is called Luella. I used to go to church with a lady named Luella. She was 80 some. Her husband Look just like a guy from a, a major TV show, The Dukes of Hazard. He looked like Boss Hogs. And <laughs> my kids used to always sit in church and like steal looks at him. This is Patsy. And this one is. Let's see, this one is one maybe Alicia. And anyway, Lou Ella had a daughter named Ella. I wonder if they had a son named Lou. I don't think so. And then this really cute sweater called, oh, this one is Alicia. So the other one is Renee. There we go, Renee. And then the Phoenix DK prints, which are nice and soft. Oh, this would make a nice blanket too. This one called Kids Chris, K-R-I-S. And this bright, sunny colored one called Pipsqueak which is a cute, endearing child's name. But talking about my granddaughter, the things that you love, sometimes you surrender when you're a teenager because of pressure or thinking you'll get picked on or your friends will make fun of you. And that's what made the little boy dancing at the wedding so precious because when they're that age, they, they aren't self-conscious. So they'll just let it all loose and then as you get older you regret the things you let go because you were worried what other people would think recently before all of this coronavirus i had my two grandsons in a really neat gift shop with all kinds of things they also had an herbal farm and Nolan picked up this cute little zippered pouch with a cat on it. He's thinking of all his little treasures he could put in there. And then he said, oh, my, my brothers are going to pick on me because it had some pink in it. And it's a shame that we can't just be ourselves. This, which this just may be one of my favorites, Rosamund dress. Oh, this one might be my favorite because of the, oh, really sweet edging. And this one is Renee.
from the Cozy Self Booklet E123. So, I hope you had fun because I did. I loved every single thing. And now I have more things to put on my to knit list. <laughs> I hope you have a great evening and keep that smile, Shine Baby Shine, signing out, Katherine Kirby.